Kirby fans, welcome back to the channel. Again, those who are new to the channel, if you haven't already, make sure you slap that subscribe button, ding that bell for notifications, give us a big thumbs up if you enjoy the video, and make sure you comment down below. If I like what you comment, I'll pin it to the video. In today's video, I'm gonna do what was a bit of a request. Now, the guy's name who requested it was Tony Vento, asked me a question, and the question was, can you fit an LED bulb in a Generation 3? Well, I've been hired at it, guys, checking it out, and yes you can um, and there's a really easy solution to doing it you don't have to go through the process of fitting the one out the avalier it's a five minute job so what we'll do is we'll get straight to it what we're going to be working on today is the g4 and the domination ultimate g and the g4 is exactly the same as the g3 and all we've got is two little screws here the whole headlight and on the g7 we've got a little slot there and what i'll show you how you do it we'll push a screwdriver in and we can pop the balls out Right, so what I'll do is I'll just zoom in and we'll get onto it. Right, so on the G4, to release the lens cover, it's literally two little Phillips screws. And I vaguely remember from the demonstrating, I vaguely remember from demonstrating the G3s, it's exactly the same. Okay, so it's just two little screws and that pops out. Now this bulb is 25 years old and it's still working. Yet the Centurion, as I specified in one of my other videos, the LED bulb packed up after seven years. So for 25 years, this bulb's been going really strong. Okay, now this is a really simple process. And all you've got to do is go to your local auto, auto store and just pick up the equivalent LED bulbs. Now these cost me 13 Australian dollars, which in British pounds is probably about five or six pound. I don't know what it is in, in US dollars. I'm assuming in the US they'd be a lot cheaper than that. And I'm assuming in the UK they'd be a lot cheaper than that. But everything is 10 times more expensive here. Right, so there's our original bulb. Okay, and if you look, the ends are exactly the same. Now, all we've got to do is pop that out. And that should just slot straight in. Like so. Okay. And we can check it works first. So headphone users, just turn them down. We'll just turn around and have a look. And that is your G3 or your G4. So we we'll just put our lens cover back on. And tighten that back up. Okay, and I'll show you with that one. Okay. So, as easy as that. So what we'll do is we'll jump over to the G7. Okay, so with this G7, same process, but Kirby did away with the screws. So what you've got is a little slot up here and you just literally push the plastic in with your screwdriver and that lens if so, there you go. So you're literally just pushing that up with your slightly screwdriver, and that pops out. And there's your bulb. So we'll just pull that one out. And we'll grab our other LED bulb. And it just slots straight in again. What we'll do, just plug that in, and just check if she works. And you just slot your lens back in. And sweet as. Right, so these are the bulbs I actually got. Well, they're the old bulbs in the packet, but that's what I actually got. And that's just from your local, just from your local auto store or your local B&Q, anywhere like that actually sells 12 volt bulbs. If you just take them in, take your bulb in, and ask them for an LED equivalent and they'll give you one of those so i found it was cheap obviously cheap to buy a pack of two um i've got two kirby's to change anyway so i've done it in my g7 and i've done it in my g4 um i don't know how good it works i mean it lights up quite bright a lot brighter i'm presuming but we'll see how long those last compared to one that lasted 25 years uh, these are guaranteed for three years and it says it's six 
thousand hours. Okay, so it says they'll last for at least six thousand hours. So that's got to be a long time of vacuuming with a Kirby. So that was a, probably the quickest video I've ever done. So again, those of you new to the channel, if you haven't already, make sure you show support by giving it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Comment down below. I will pin it to the video if I enjoy what you like, if I like what you comment. And while you're down there, slap that subscribe button and ding that bell for notifications to show your support. And what I'll do is I'll see you in the next one.